Welcome to the lesson on human genetic disorders. In this video, we're going to discuss disorders caused by gene mutations. We'll discuss uh, disorders caused by chromosomal mutations, and we'll give some examples of each, uh, along with taking a look at a pretty neat animation showing a couple of examples and how um, these types of disorders happen. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with disorders caused by individual genes. And these uh, affect specific proteins that do important jobs. And so if you change uh, the protein, you're preventing it from being able to do its job. Uh, incidents of various genetic diseases that are caused by gene mutations include PKU, which is a recessive uh recessive disorder, and one in 60 Caucasians uh, ends up with this. And if you're not sure what any of these are, feel free to Google them. Some of them we've already talked about in class. Tay-Sachs disease, which we've already discussed, is a recessive disorder. One in 30 Eastern European Jews uh, can inherit this genetic disease. We have sickle cell anemia, which is a co-dominant uh, re uh, genetic disease. One in 13 in Africans and African Americans suffers from sickle cell anemia. Cystic fibrosis, which is a disease that affects the lungs, recessive, and one in 30 in Northern Europeans. Huntington's disease is a dominant uh, genetic disorder. One in 1,000 in people of English descent ends up with this. Next, we have achondroplasia, also a dominant genetic disease, and it works on a hot spot mutation. One in 15,000 in Caucasians. Progeria is a recessive genetic disorder. One in a million in Caucasians. And then ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a recessive genetic disorder. One in 600 in Caucasians. All right, now let's switch and talk about um, chromosomal disorders. Chromosomal disorders usually take place due to non disjunctions. And that's what happens when chromosomes don't separate properly during meiosis. And this would be, of course, during uh, anaphase 1 and or anaphase 2, typically only during anaphase 1. And this le leads to the wrong chromosome number. You might remember that disjunction takes place during anaphase 1 when the homologous, homologous chromosomes split and separate. Well, if that doesn't happen properly, it leads to the wrong number of chromosomes in the cell. Really two kinds of this. There's monosomy, which means one to few chromosomes. In humans, this would be, uh, instead of having 46 chromosomes, you would have 45. And an example of this is Turner syndrome, in which you have uh, an X chromosome and then what is uh, in this in this disorder is called an O chromosome. Trisomy is having one too many chromosomes, which means in humans, instead of having 46, you would have 47. Down syndrome is a pretty popular, well-known uh, chromosomal disorder caused by having uh, one too many uh, chromosome 21. So it called T21. Edwards syndrome is T18, having one too many 18 chromosomes. Kleinfelter syndrome is having uh, one too many X chromosomes, so you'd be XXY, or having a Y chromosome added on to a female uh, XXY. Uh, metafemale, uh, would be one too many X chromosomes given to a female, so XXX. Uh, and then there would be super male syndrome, which ends up with an extra Y chromosome, so be XYY. 
there are many techniques for studying um, DNA and we can have electrophoresis uh, gel electrophoresis to do a DNA study and this is very commonly done in forensic science and we also have what is called the human genome project going on which is sequencing and identifying genes um, and you'll see that um, discussed as well in our ne next video which talks about um, some of these disorders how they happen in uh, gene mutations and how chromosomal mutations take place and does a nice animation for you as well.